all my titties. Kind of message for you guys. We have some. There's your ancestors are wanting you to meditate, okay? They're definitely wanting you to meditate. For somebody, you could have like um uh, hyperpigmentation on your face, or you could have a birthmark on your face or on your chest or something like that. Um I feel like your birthmarks are directly related to your ancestors. Um or your lineage in some way. Okay, you can even have scars that are related. You could be like um from a tribe or something like that. You could have tattoos that are related to your lineage in some way. Maybe you don't even know it. You know what I mean? You could you could be a person who got face who has face tattoos and you know you have no idea that that's how your peoples used to look back in the day, right? Or you know you could be a person who has um, hyperpigmentation in the same places as you know, people from your tribe or, you know, um, child, you could have even been born green, blue, right? Having to do with your lineage, okay? That, that dark pigmentation or, you know, the green birthmarks. Y'all know what I'm talking about. For those of y'all who are tapped into that information, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? So, um, you've been gifted with information or you're going to be gifted with information, okay? I feel like this is just in your bloodline and you need to tap into it or this is in your memories and you need to tap into it. Like, it's something that, you're, that you remember or something that you know. Maybe you're not paying attention to it or whatever, but that's why they're asking you to meditate. There's information that needs to be gifted to you so you can get out of this, um, eight of swords type situation yeah, so you could be clear. You see this energy of contentment? I feel like you may, I feel like there's something that you need to know, okay? There's something that you need to know. There's something you should know. There's something in my heart. Oh, it's got me hooked on you. Yeah, so this is going to help you. This is about download. You see this energy of change in consciousness. I feel like this is going to be um, things that are going to be downloaded to you. You, you, could, you could be getting upgrades, okay? Definitely. I feel like you're being um, taken out of a situation and led to a better one. I feel like this is as it pertains to your consciousness. I feel like this is as it pertains to your environment. There's a lot of spiritual energy here as far as ancestors, um... And spirit guides are concerned. Somebody may live near a lighthouse. This could be a male ancestor that's that's trying to tell you something or that's been giving you downloads about things, okay? There's something here about you may have been very angry and had a lot of problems as far as your faith is concerned just because maybe you've been being attacked or things haven't been going right or you've been experiencing a lot of spiritual warfare i feel like you forgot to manifest or you were feeling like there's no use in, in trying to manifest okay some of the times we could be um too focused on defending ourselves to manifest something or too focused on i don't know this feel like a woe is me type of situation not that you don't have a reason to be okay i'm just saying what it feel like yeah with the intuitive awareness this is literally being gifted to you okay you're being gifted with uh sp different spiritual gifts ways of seeing things how to do something okay how to move this is gonna help you this is coming from um directly from a specific ancestor i feel like this particular ancestor whether you know them or not you guys are a lot alike or you share some of the same spiritual gifts look at this okay this has to do you see this angels of the seven chakras this has a lot to do with that reading that i was saying about someone basically clearing their chakras and the way that it was done it was literally spearheaded by 
angels, ancestors, or spirit guides. I, I don't know, you know, um, specifically how it was done. And it's going to be different for everybody, but I spoke about that. Like, whatever this is, this was like divine intervention, okay? Love coming from, what did I say? Past life gods. I told y'all. Karmic lessons and present assistance. Like, y'all got guides right now that y'all need to be asking them for shit. Like, for real. I'm telling y'all this has been going on for about... I've been seeing this for about, like, two weeks now. Like, this this is literally the time to start manifesting and asking for stuff. Like, they are present. They they sitting here like, so what's up? Especially as, a, as, as it pertains to mental clarity. A lot of you guys are um, tapped in to information that maybe you didn't know before or you just probably... I just heard, I can see clearly now the rain is... I could see all obstacles in my way. Now you're probably um, cognizant of the obstacles that's been in your way. For some of y'all, it's been you that's been in your way as well. Look at this wisdom, Akashic Records. Y'all could be dreaming about shit, tapping into certain stuff. I'm telling y'all, this is the perfect time for you to start asking. Look at this. This is even animal energy and powers. Didn't I tell y'all that too? I have put it on my community board. Like, listen, for those of you who work with spirit guides that are animals, I don't know why they're, they're so, like, I, I, I was thinking maybe it, be, it was because of the lion's gate energy, but they're so, like, heavy on us right now. Like, listen, we here. What's up? Ask us for whatever it is that you need, okay? Let us lead you type energy and there's an urgency there's kind of like an urgency here like kind of like take advantage of this uh you know situation if you guys have been doing chakra work continue to do that i remember you know weeks ago when i came up here and i showed y'all on the live how to how to do you know not how to but how i would you know um or a way you could clear your chakras or whatever that shit worked for those of you who was doing it, it worked. It's been coming up in the last couple of reads. Yeah. Look at this. Hope. This is like cleansing. This feels like cleansing, rejuvenation. All right. I just heard astral body. Some of you guys may have even worked with Archangel Metatron. Yeah, this is this is about um getting work done on your body. Look at that. Angels. It feel like angels worked on your body. But for a lot of you guys, your sacral chakra was being worked on. I feel like it was blocked. And now you good. I feel like now you're literally creating from your tummy. Creating from your um sacral chakra, your solar plexus, you know what I mean? Um creating from your midsection. I do feel like there was a, somebody was literally fighting over your, fighting you over your own energy. Does that make sense? Somebody was literally fighting you over your own energy. You guys um, may have had some sort of negative attachment there, okay? I feel like it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's leaving. It's being healed. Yeah, with the three of pentacles, I do feel like this was a um, collaborative effort to try to steal. Yeah, look at this. With the magician, to steal your... Your spiritual energy to steal your energy from you. Yup, to make things hard for you. Okay, I feel like you couldn't tap in. There was something, there was untapped potential inside of you. Like your sacral chakra or your solar plexus or something like that. I feel like this is this really um affected you by way of motivation, affected you by way of creation, like not knowing what to create for all my people who are, you know, self-employed or uh or, or just are creatives, period. Okay, or creators. I feel like you may have had writer's block, music block, painting painter's block, okay singers block whatever because there were there were energies that were tapping into your chakras tapping into your potential tapping into your energy your energetic centers to take from you because they um were knowledgeable about the fact that you're gifted okay and they try to take that shit from you whoever spirit guides this is or ancestors or whatever cleared that shit out angels angelic energies as well yeah i feel like they came through like okay new beginning 
New beginning. Now you can, I, I just heard monetize yourself. Yeah, monetize yourself. Look forward to certain things. Now blockages are removed. But some of you guys may want to um check out the prosperity bundle, okay? I feel like this would be a good time to get the prosperity bundle. I only have a few of them left, but this is a great time to get the prosperity bundle because while this is this is present and these energies are present, you want to use them to the best of your ability or let them assist assist you, okay? And work with them to assist you because they're definitely here. They're definitely here. They're trying to inspire you to do something. Why is the three of Why is the three of swords here though? Why is the three of swords here? There's something here that they feel like you're 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 not allowing them to help you, or you're blocking something. There's something that you're blocking out. Okay, but in what way? What way are they blocking this out? What way? Okay, they saying you're because you're being too guarded by way of what? I don't know if it's like you're scared to put yourself out there or whatever the case is, but this is like untapped potential. There's money to be made. Okay, I don't know if you're not um I don't know. Um let's let's see what they mean by this. Like your guard is up in some sort of way. What's this? How how? distance okay um are y'all not praying or but some of you guys you might want to change your um yeah there's something about not praying there's something about not praying or not connecting with them or not asking them for things or not using them to get to get to the best of your potential to the best of their potential okay and then this energy right here could also be that energy that i was speaking to y'all about about always protecting yourself okay always protecting yourself but never manifesting that's like lighting mad protection candles but never lighting money candles or praying for protection all the time but not asking for you know um i just heard cigarettes okay um, and I took it personally. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, and I was going to say your, your, your diet or even maybe that you do smoke cigarettes could be a problem here as well. Okay. I feel like they want you to come to them and ask them or connect with them, but there's, it's going to be different for, um, the blockage is going to be different for everybody okay that's why i was saying that prosperity bundle because um it come with the blockage the blockage removing candle open road so on and so forth in the in the, in the blockage removing bath right prosperity bath right but then another thing too they say the reason why is that you always expecting the worst you know what i'm saying you always expecting the worst and it needs to be um positive thoughts okay because the law of attraction especially you know with you right now it's like it's, it's in effect honey <laughs> okay the law of attraction is definitely in effect right now so you want to be careful watch your thoughts and stuff like that what about it what about it for some of you guys you need to get into your male energy Okay, make shit shake, make things happen. Put 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 yourself, yeah. There's something here, uh, you guys, about anger. Okay, this could have this could be um you holding on to the past or you thinking about the past. Something pissed something is. Some of you guys could be angry that you're not wealthy. You feel like you should. For those of you guys that are creators or, you know what I mean, like. For somebody, you feel like you're worth way more than what you're being paid or you're worth way more than your wage, okay? And I feel like they've been trying to give you downloads in order to um, bring you up, okay? It's, yes, look at this. With the Seven of Cups, they're trying to bring you downloads to show you how it is that you should move, what you should work on. But that's why they're telling you to meditate because they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, okay, you guys? 
the whole reading is basically about meditation. Look at this. They, they're wanting. You see at the bottom of the deck, we have initiation and atonement. And then we have um, manifesting grid. Okay. There's, there's literally like this is not only one set one ancestor like there's a lot of ancestors there's a lot of untapped information that you have that they're i feel like they're going to release to you but you're going to need to go get it and you're going to have to go get it through consciously okay um making a conscious choice to connect with them okay that is meditation like setting the intention like come y'all come tell me everything y'all want to tell me let's get it i'm open okay i'm a willing participant in this Let, let's hear it look at this you see how it says Higher consciousness and spirit invocation. Call on your ancestors. Call on them. They want to give you, I keep hearing untapped potential. They want to give you information that's going to take you to where you're supposed to be. Especially, you see how this queen of swords is here? Like, I'm ready, I'm willing, and I'm able. Give me the information, okay? But the, what is wrong? Like, what is wrong? What's the, what's the five of cups? What is wrong? It's like a, okay. For some of you guys, you're grieving over the loss of a child or the loss of a Leo. Who could have been a mother? A mother figure or something like that. Or you could be a Leo and this is an ear sign mother or, or earth sign mom. Or dad, whatever. Show me this. Show me that. What, what, okay. Tell me that. I just heard somebody could have did something to you when you was a child. Th th that part is really needing to be healed. Okay? I see it here. It's like it's bothering you. Like your inner child. There's something going on. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Wands and the Devil. There's something. There's something. Bought, like what? What? Uh, Something that a mother could have done to you. It could have to do with something that happened in a person's house. This person could have a bunch of um, antiques. I feel like when you was in that person's house or you were in, in that person's energy, you just felt bad. It felt like a dark cloud. This is what this, this feels like a dark cloud. Why is it coming up? I feel like, okay, so they're saying that this is this energy is taking up a lot of your mental space, okay? Things that may have happened in the past, okay? Things that may have happened when you were a child. There's a, a lot of this, this is taking up a lot of mental space. They need more space. They want you to make room for them, okay? This needs to he, uh, heal and clear out some of that energetic debris, you guys. You guys might want to do a subconscious flush. This here... Is, is your ancestors and your spirit guys saying, make room for us? Yeah, because it's, it's fucking with your health, okay? It's fucking with your health. Yeah. Okay, the reason why your health can't get into balance is because you're definitely experiencing some sort of stress um, or subconsciously just being bogged down. Your mind is being bogged down about whoever this is, you know? It, it could be even two women here that um maybe stressing you out or you know a capricorn a leo um heavy on the capricorn something or someone or some events is uh, it's bothering you okay i feel like it's always in the back of your mind or it's in the forefront of your mind or it's weighing heavy or your on your heart or something like that and your ancestors are saying please clear that energy because we want to come in and speak to you and give you and see this you see this anger this anger stuff th this is something that has to do with money somebody could have took money from you or something like that like it's like it, they're telling you don't be upset about that they want to give you information okay and they really cleared some heavy stuff from you you guys so y'all need to be thankful in whatever way show them thanks in whatever way yeah they're saying be careful about your anger be careful about your anger concerning this concerning this situation okay and and yeah look at this it says be compassionate i feel like this could have turned you into somebody who don't who don't f with nobody because of this Definitely stay in your prayers and stay connected to spirit, okay? They want you to stay connected. It's like every time you get angry about this situation or you, you know, you, you become worldly. And I don't, I don't, I want to explain that to you. Like, I don't know. I just hope you understand. 
they, they feel like you letting that negativity, that toxicity seep in again. Like you letting it seep in. You worried about something that they said that they would handle. Or you worrying about something that essentially really doesn't matter. They say all eyes on me. Spirit says all eyes on me. Focus on me. Keep your connection with me. There's something here about the devil wanting to distract you with your own emotions. Okay? Some of you are some of you guys are tapping into memories, okay? Um that could be bothering you. And I feel like it's being done purposely. I feel like it's being done by the enemy purposely. It's happening to some memories that could be bothering you. That's why Spirit is saying, don't look back. Don't look back. Whatever this is, it wants to, you know, it, it, it is to lower your vibration. That's the point of it. That's the point of it. And Spirit, like, I feel you slipping away. It's like, I feel you slipping away. Come back. Focus on me. Focus on my word. Focus on what I said. Keep praying. Keep your connection. Don't let this petty shit that somebody did. And, and, and it, 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 it didn't have to be something small, but it was real petty, Five of Swords, on their end, okay? Don't let that drag you back down, okay? Keep your eyes focused on my promises, what Spirit is saying. You guys really need to meditate, okay? Meditate. Pray, cleanse your body, okay? Maybe you might even want to do some fasting, but this is like that 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 spiritual work that's um this is inner work, okay? This is inner work um that's needed to be done as well. I hope that helped.